I've left the thigh and not in it. <laughs> Now, it's, now you can tell stories. <laughs> now I can't talk. <laughs> it's like looking at my mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, oh, Dave, Dave Sweet and I dug in an assembly where we were going to make, supposed to make a daughter attack. <clears throat> and you know, we started... Wait, who's, who's Dave Sweet? Huh? Who's Dave Sweet? He was, the, he was my buddy. Okay. Well, it was it, how tall was he? Six foot eight. Oh my God! Then he can pick me up and put me in his in his big back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, he disappeared, and I got pissed off because I got to dig this slit trench all by myself, and I'm about five feet four. <laughs> so he disappeared. He's going for hell. I had all almost dug, but he came back, and he had a a bag full of sausage and cheese. I said, where the hell did you get that? Oh, he says, a bunch of crowds dug in across the field. And he had to have German helmet. I said, well, what the hell did you bring the helmet back for? He says, I can throw the piss off that guy's sergeant, he says. <clears throat> he's going to be around by dawn checking all the outposts, and he's going to find that guy without his helmet, and he's going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was a... That was the night to remember. <clears throat> and so we crawled out all and went to sleep. <laughs> and just before daylight, we were run, under, we were under the muzzle of, of a battery, 105 hours, and just never even knew it. They let a whole go of four guns all at once. And I wore dirty diapers for <laughs> about three days. <laughs> oh, boy. It was... Uh, it was a hell of a way to make a living, I'll tell you.